This morning, the Minneapolis Police Department is facing new scrutiny in the wake of former officer Derek Chauvin's murder conviction. Yesterday's verdict in the state criminal trial does not address potentially systemic policing issues in Minneapolis. Attorney General Merrick Garland launching a sweeping federal review of how the department operates, from use of force during protests to handling people with mental health problems to discrimination in hiring practices. Public safety requires public trust. The city's first black police chief, Madeira Arredondo, says he welcomes the investigation, vowing to cooperate fully. He fired Chauvin after the officer kneeled on George Floyd's neck for more than nine minutes last May, later testifying for the prosecution during the trial. I absolutely agree that violates our policy. Chauvin, seen here in a new mugshot, is in solitary confinement at the state's only maximum security prison. 23 hours of his day will now be spent in a small cell like this one, monitored by cameras and corrections officers. He'll get one hour outside for exercise, but no interaction with any other inmates out of concern for his safety. Find the defendant guilty. Chauvin was taken away in handcuffs Tuesday after a jury found him guilty of second and third degree murder and second degree manslaughter. A rare moment of accountability that Minnesota Attorney General Keith Ellison says he thought might not come. I was never convinced we were going to win this case until we heard the verdicts of guilty. Particularly when the, the victim is a, is a person of color, it's just rare that there's any, any accountability. Some in this community now hope it will lead to lasting change. What's beautiful is we will not go back. We can't go back to the status quo. But today, another sign that change won't come overnight. In nearby Brooklyn Center, the funeral for Dante Wright, killed in a police shooting just days ago. And Craig, as you know from when you were here, many businesses in downtown Minneapolis are still boarded up, but now authorities say that some National Guard troops will start to be moved out of the city, perhaps a sign of some sense of normalcy here, Craig. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.